There are many ways to explore Europe, but none better than on a cruise, and specifically a Star Clipper sailing ship. So we're taking you on Royal Clipper. She's the largest square rigger sailing ship in the world and our home for the next 10 days as we sail the Mediterranean Sea from Venice to Rome. I'm Rob Stewart. And I'm his wife, Carrie, and we're professional cruisers. And yes, that is a real job. We spent over 100 nights at sea. We even got married on a cruise ship. It's our favorite way to travel. And when it comes to vacations, nothing is better than cruising. This week, we finish our cruise aboard the Royal Clipper. After making our way from Venice down the coast of Croatia and to Montenegro, we pick up on the Greek island Corfu. We trusted today in Corfu, Greece, completely to our new friend, cruise director Lydia. She drove us to some out of the way places with another new friend, Santiago. After an incredible, authentic Greek lunch overlooking the clear blue sea, we drove the island and stopped by the grotto where they jumped in for a quick swim. After a late evening in Corfu, we headed back to the ship and look forward to a day at sea. If you're up for an adventure, we highly recommend climbing the mast. The views were spectacular, and it was one of the highlights of our cruise. And if you want to improve or learn some sailing skills, the crew even teaches a rope tying class, and you can help raise the sails. You can also catch a workout at the gym or get a massage at the Captain Nemo Spa. Whether you want to relax on deck, take a dip in the pool, or just hang out at the tropical bar. The ship never felt crowded, and we could always find a place to take in the views. And if heights aren't for you, don't worry. There are many places on Royal Clipper to enjoy. Watching the sunset while suspended above the ocean was really cool. On to Sicily and the beautiful city on the mountain, Taormina. With restaurants and shops everywhere, you will not be lacking for choices. Make sure this is on your don't miss list when you visit Taormina. This ancient theater is still used today, and the views from Taormina were some of the best from our trip. We really felt like this was a type of cruise where you have plenty of time and options when you stop at the various ports. Coming up next, Sorrento. The people you'll meet on Royal Clipper are well-seasoned travelers, and we were fortunate to meet people from over 15 different countries. And the makeup of the guests ranges from retired couples to solo travelers to even families with teenagers. The service on board was incredible. And while the Royal Clipper is a smaller ship, the guest to crew ratio was less than two to one. If you've ever cruised before on one of the large cruise lines, then you know that going to the bridge is very rare. Not aboard Royal Clipper. Guests were invited to come visit and tour the bridge just about any time. And the crew was very open and excited to talk about the ship. A popular nighttime hangout is the Piano Bar, which featured a special guest pianist on our cruise, Emil Pendolfi. It was great to see everyone gather around after dinner each night to enjoy his music, and here he is. Our cruise was coming to an end, there were still a few more stops including a visit to one of the most famous Roman ruins in Italy, Pompeii. There is so much history here, it's hard to describe. Let's just say the Romans were way more advanced than anyone would think. If you have the time, another place to check out is the Isle of Capri, 
and the world famous Blue Grotto. Since Sorrento is very close to the birthplace of pizza, Naples, we had to have that for dinner. Lydia took us to Pizzeria De Franco. It's where the locals go and it was amazing. There was a non-stop line out the door. After touring a few islands off the coast, we headed to our final stop, Rome, Italy. We have to say that this was one of the hardest ships to leave. We just didn't want to go. It felt like we were leaving family, and that's because of the amazing crew on board Royal Clipper. If we had the time, we would have gladly sailed the reverse itinerary from Rome to Venice with her. Special thanks to Lydia, our cruise director, and our new friends from all over the world. The Star Clippers fleet includes the Royal Clipper and also two four-masted sailing ships. This winter, you can cruise Royal Clipper in the Caribbean. To learn more, contact your travel agent. Let's go! I hope you recorded that. <laughs>